guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing an RB Battles episode. Well, not like an episode, but I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to complete the final battle. So if you don't already, you're gonna need all the bits and you're gonna have to have them all activated before you can even go. And you're gonna have to need the special pack, which you can find in other videos. But for the, just I'm just gonna be assuming that you already have all that. And what you will be getting is this crown right here on my head. Well, I didn't get the gold one, because I was I didn't get the top 10,000 but if you you'll get this one when you win no matter what you do so <clears throat> in here you're gonna have to equip your um you're gonna have to equip the gravity boots right here for you to be able to get to the area because we're gonna have to be going into the outside world and make sure you have a pet that supports your gravity so right here it says gravity boost bo bo boost so it, this shows how much it um, helps and basically you need a good pet it, so so you can actually jump higher because or otherwise these r won't really do anything so just follow me and where i go you're gonna step right here and we're gonna be teleported into the outside world all right from here you're just gonna follow what i do so you're gonna parkour across this wall come over here and then it looks like there's actually no place here but you're, you're just gonna jump there when all these lights light up, then you'll be able to go into this next room, which will be how you get to the final battle. All right, we entered this area, the subway, and all you gotta do is come up to this guy right here. You gotta step on this charging pad, and this will charge your battery pack to max. Now you're just gonna come over to the subway, and you're just gonna click power power board power train Battler, and you there you go so the first thing you want to do is look at these numbers on the wall wow. so right now we have 69 and Everything 77 really so weird. you're gonna come here and put those in so make sure that pad over there is the first one so after that this door will open up and you will be able to find a key card so after this you're gonna go to the front of the action engine actually and then you're going to want to do like a little mini game ish thing you have to like click the code and stuff so you have to hold E, and you have to click the uh, click when it says so. So I just missed it. And when if there's any long lines, you want to hold it. Oh, I did it. All right. After that, you're all good. So you gotta wait for this this back carriage to break off, and then you'll be able to do the next part. Okay. At this turn right here, we're gonna be able to go in this room, and there's gonna be an entrance to the next room we have to go in after that. All right. We're right here, so we're gonna exit the engine from the back, and now we're gonna go over here. So right here, you'll see there, there there's some uh, battery pack things. So you're gonna grab two of these. So, after you get two of these, you're gonna hold F, because you should have the robot resonator. Once you hold F, you can, there's like this little screen, and you're gonna wanna click on the little bot right here. You'll, it's like, you'll become the bot right here, and you're gonna click and just break one of these boxes. So, that's all you really need to do. So, after you do that, just exit out, and you will be in the next room. And also, guys, if you're on PC, you should be using control and as the, um, <clears throat> as the uh, roll button, not shift, because that's what you use for the jetpacks. So I don't know why I just grabbed that battery pack. You don't need it. But after this, you're going to grab another one of these robots. So okay. let's just grab him right now. Okay. And we're going to come up to these boxes. And you can't break the, the metal boxes, but you can only break the wood boxes. So you're going to break the second row of the boxes until there's a clear path. And these guys can't jump, so you want to make room. After that, you're going to break this box, which lets this metal box fall down, which allows you a little pathway to the next area. So you're going to climb up here, and then you're going to break one of these boxes to allow you get a pa to, to allow you to get an area. Okay, now we can enter this part. So you just want you want to cross these conveyor belts again. This part's a little tricky, so may take may take some time. And you don't want to die because you don't get a checkpoint for like the entire time. All right, dodge these guys that shoot you. All right, now we're in the next room. So you're going to want to stand over this middle area. Uh-oh. You're going to want to stand over this middle area just in case you fall. You'll be able to get back up, and I literally stop. We're going to just parkour across these, and if I fall, I can easily just go in the middle one. I would recommend jumping on the box instead of going on the, the ladder, but you can do either. Uh, okay, we made it. Okay. After that, parkour is pretty hard, so that might take you some time and after that, you're gonna want to go to this energy area, and you're gonna you're gonna have to power up. So down here, it's you're gonna have a battery or power percent bar, and basically you're gonna want to hold shift. 
So this part's a little tricky, and this is your jetpack. So you're gonna wanna fly over here to this tr uh, this turret. All right, and then you can wanna spam it, so because you have a cooldown thing right there, and you if it gets red, then it'll make you stop. And once you get over here, you'll override the turret, and that should break. Oh shoot! And you'll get this message again. So you just gotta complete this. Gotta time it exactly with these dots, which I might have messed up. Okay, I did it right. It's gonna shoot this robot that is protecting the next room for you. So you're gonna need to use your jetpack again. So you're gonna jump twice, uh, dive, and then use your jetpack to get onto this bridge. And once there, just go into this area. All right, so you should be over here now. So you're gonna, there's gonna be a ladder at the top, which I think is directly above us. So you're gonna come over to this platform right here. And you don't have to do it exactly how I do it, but you're gonna just spam spacebar against this wall. And you're just gonna climb the entire thing. And once you get to this platform, you're gonna go over here and then do it again so you can have enough room. And you gotta watch out for all these robots. And if you, you can use your you can use your guitar to hit them and kill them, I think. Yeah. But I'm yeah, I'm not staying around for that. So after that you can climb the wall again. And if you see, just get as far, far up as possible. So right now, there is the blue ladder right there. All right, so climb up this ladder and you should be to the next part. So this part, this next part is really tricky. So you're gonna have to be really careful about how you do this. All right, so enter this, keep going into this red smoke, just keep rolling. And you're gonna have to dodge any yellow um, spotlights that you see. So in this room, there's gonna be tons of guards that you're gonna see and they one shot you, you have no chance. So don't step in any of the yellow. So sometimes these yellow things bug. I don't know if they're gonna fix it by the time this video comes out, but sometimes it's fine. So as long as the thing is moving, that means it's not safe. I'm just gonna go. Oh, okay, we're going. Okay, just go through the middle. Okay, we did it, we did it, we did it. So, um, yeah, you gotta do that four times now. So basically, you're gonna come over to this computer, and you're literally gonna have to, well, you're just gonna have to do a simple thing, which I'm definitely not gonna mess up, because I've never messed it up before, and, like, like never gonna mess it up. Like, definitely never. Uh, okay, first try, guys! Let's go! Def Let's go! Okay, we got it. All right, now we gotta do that again, but there's gonna be a different map this time. So, we're gonna have to grab a, a key. So there's gonna be four keys. You see, like, the, at the there's gonna be four keys back there and we're gonna have to grab them and keep going back and forth without dying once. Yes, okay, we're going. Okay, we got a key. Now we gotta go back without dying. So technically we have to do this eight times. All right, the first key, jeez. Okay, let's do this again. Um, forgot what we gotta do. Never gonna, never gonna give you up, babe. No! I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble! Ah! Oh my gosh, we actually got a checkpoint, bro. There's a checkpoint there now. They just updated it. Let's go. Yes, make sure you guys step on this because you will be wasting so much time unless you're actually good at the game. Now we can actually do this part without me having to wait 20 minutes every time I record. All right, there's the first key. Okay. All right, that was the second key. All right, here's the third key. All right, there's the fourth key. That took me like 40 minutes. We don't talk about that. Okay, I don't even know what happens after this, to be honest. Let's see. Okay. The door closed. Chilling at an elevator. Okay, that is cool. All right, after you get off that elevator, you're gonna wanna step on this checkpoint, obviously, and now you're gonna be in this, like, portal area room. Well, you'll see it soon. So just click this button, obviously, and it'll open this door, wow. And then now here, you're gonna, well, you can use this battery pack if you don't have any energy, but you're gonna use your robot resonator again and grab this robot. So this robot's gonna be used a lot, and basically just click when you see any like small blocks with like that's glowing he, he, this robot will be used so now i can exit out of the robot with f and here we go here's the portal gun so this is another huge factor so you're just gonna want to press this button to let this um come out open and you're this is a little sh slow but you're gonna want to use your uh portal gun shoot a blue or pink portal doesn't matter but as long as the next portal is a different color or you're fine then shoot a pink portal like i said doesn't matter into the this wall and you can only shoot portals at walls that look like this so make sure you know that when you're coming here all right here's the main room this place is huge but basically the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over here to this side and they're going to grab a ton of robots so 
you, you can probably you can always come back to this area but you're gonna want to grab tons of robots all right so before we go up there though we have to get this portal we have to use this portal gun so we're gonna shoot a portal we're gonna shoot a portal right there into our wall then we're gonna shoot a portal all the way to this side and we're gonna click that button up there so that might not make it oh it did okay we're gonna jump into this portal and click this button so that will open this door which is protecting or the button to activate the elevator all right now we're gonna go up and basically this is where we get all the robots all right so the first thing you're gonna do is just kill the annoying enemies so you can get your robot resonator up to um one of these guys make sure you're out into the clear all right you're gonna want to shoot this robot he might not you might not be able to see him at first but he'll be he's there and you're just gonna kill him because he's really annoying all right here is not really a tricky part so you're just gonna activate this button which is gonna open this door then you're gonna grab one of these small robots so they're all like like basically going to death so you're just gonna grab one save their life and come over here and you're gonna put them on you're gonna put one of them on here so this is gonna open this door which will allow you to pull the elevator back down and you're just gonna get another one you're gonna get a maybe let's say three more for now you're gonna want to come back here probably later though and you're gonna grab another one just put them on the elevator all right you're gonna move these robots all the way right here all right once you have all your robots moved you're gonna activate the, this door which is gonna allow you to come to this area and you're gonna want to take one of your robots again so this robot is gonna go inside of this building right here because only these robots can go in these small areas and you're gonna want to bring your robot onto this um you're gonna bring him right onto this portal gun all right you're gonna shoot doesn't matter what portal again as long as the other portal is the same and or a different color and you're gonna want to shoot one of the portals on the floor because you're gonna need the robot to get through eventually now you're gonna get out of this robot and then shoot one of these portals from this side. And just go through this portal and you should be into this room. So now you gotta, con these basically are like the power generator. So you gotta connect these, the, the this um the portal generator to this um thing. So it's basically just already lined up for you. So all you gotta do is move it there. And now you can use your robot again to shoot a portal here Make sure you shoot it opposite of what the portal on this side is. And you should be able to go in there now. You're going to click this button and open this door. All right, after you press that button up there, you're going to come over here where this door is open now for you. And you're going to put your robot in here. So now this gives you a path up there. And you can put a robot in there. So you're also going to want to grab this robot, the other robot you got, and put him in the new place you could put them in that robot just activated a little panel for you that's gonna activate for future all right now you can easily just parkour up here all right to kill these robots right here you're just gonna grab this one right here and just sh make sure you're behind that wall so they can't kill you and just shoot them and this diamond is where you're aiming it's not like right where your mouse is and just kill them right there just like that after you kill them you can if you you don't have to but after this you can just kill this robot right here with your your guitar and oh shoot no oh, oh. okay that was close don't do what i did guys all right after you get those guys out of the way you're gonna want to power this guy so this one's really simple you just gotta move this one down move this one down and move this one down it's really simple so both of them will power the same thing and it should yep now it lights up all right so now you're gonna need to get a robot right here so i already i messed up and i left the robot inside of this room but you can just grab the robot from this room and put him into that room but i'm gonna go get another one if you need to bring any ro new robots up you can just make a new portal from from um the the main area so i'm just gonna shoot a blue portal right there and perfect that should be good and i'm gonna go back down to the main area where all you can bring the robots easier and i'm gonna shoot a pink portal which i think i've already done yeah so now we can easily bring more robots all right now we have four i have four robots over here you don't need this many but i would recommend bringing a lot because it's easy to mess up at this part so follow the order that i click in so you're gonna first click three then click four two times right here you're gonna bring one of your robots so become one of your robots and you're gonna grab make him go through under this little vent and basically you're gonna keep one we're gonna you're gonna bring bring one to the middle of the one platform all right after you 
put those guys down, you're going to turn the four until the, it's connecting to the one platform and this vent right here. So, should be three times. Then you can connect back to your robot, which is this one at the very edge. And, of course, I missed. Then you're going to bring your robot through this vent. And, basically, you're just going to put him... Um, you're gonna put them on this platform right here after you bring that robot into that room You're gonna bring you're gonna turn the one platform where your middle robot should be and he's gonna turn and gonna now He'll be facing this uh, Vent so be, connect to him then you're gonna need to connect to him and you're gonna bring this one through the vent So you're gonna have to do some stuff with this one since my portal over there is blue I'm going to shoot a pink portal right at this wall and it's going to basically connect them and it'll let me be able to enter this area you're gonna need some robots to go on this platform i think you're gonna need two so i would just leave this robot right here before you go into this next part collect these battery packs down here because you're gonna need around 40 to 50 battery in, depending on how well you do it so we're gonna basically go up there now make sure to bring the second robot before you enter the blue portal all right now we're going to enter so basically this part it gets a, this part is where it gets a little confusing so basically you're gonna need like you already you already have 40 batteries so you're gonna connect to the robot controlling the um you're gonna connect to this robot controlling the thing all right when this platform is down here you're gonna get out of this robot and bring all of the other robots onto that platform. You're gonna get on the platform yourself and connect to this robot. So I'm just gonna do that. And now he is gonna go back and activate this thing. So now we're gonna be all up here. And now you're gonna need more energy. That was only for this part because you're gonna need to move these robots. After you get up there, you're gonna come down this conveyor belt until you reach this area and just stop it because it's very, very fast. And after that, you're gonna make a new portal that's connecting to your old one. So you can make, uh, make it whatever the opposite of the portal before you went to the other portal gun. So mine was blue, so I'm gonna make it purple. And now we should be back in here. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna grab some more battery pack. After you get more battery packs again, you're gonna grab one of these robots and just put them into this um little pad thing. And this is gonna activate these two doors, so you don't need this one anymore. Okay. All right, control this robot, and basically, you don't want. I don't. I'm not sure if this red kills the robot, but just to make sure, you're gonna just slowly cross on this side, on the black side, and basically just go through here. Now we're gonna be in this room, and you're gonna activate this. You're gonna activate this door, which will allow you to go to the next room. So you're gonna grab a lot of there's gonna you don't need to go back for more battery packs because there are gonna be so many. Then press this button which will open this door for your robot. Now make him enter this pad. Then activate the next pad which will open your door. Basically just so forth and so forth. Then I'm pretty sure just click this button and both of you will be allowed to enter the next area. Hit the button one more time and then just put him in this pad which will finally open this door. So this is gonna be the last part. All right, this is gonna be a huge slide puzzle. So basically, I'm not gonna be able to show how to do it because there's no way you can copy everything I do. So what you gotta do is you have the, have the pink wires connecting to both of these and it has to go through the robot or the portal gun at some point same with the blue so i'm gonna go do this and i'll show what i did but you can do anything you want as long as it follows that criteria all right this should be the last thing i have to move and you could pause the video right here to see what i did and an alarm should start sounding soon i think we have to get the portal working now so you can get a robot from right there if you press this door you can literally just get the robot from the last room so i don't really know why you need to get a robot from up there grab this portal gun and you're gonna want to shoot it you're gonna want to shoot it at the very top of this area so i'm gonna just click do a blue portal and do the opposite at the very bottom right here all right after you do that press this button right here which is gonna actually give you a bridge all right put them through the portal and now you'll be on this bridge so all the last thing you basically gotta do is put this robot on here and you're basically done the last thing you gotta do is just literally just jump into this hole so once you put that robot it will basically um just open this because there will be fire right there 
And this is gonna bring you to the next part. So you're basically like halfway done now. Make sure you step on this checkpoint. That is very important. All right, this part is gonna actually require a lot of parkour. So you're gonna need your jetpack for the most part of this. So a trick you can do is grab these four packs and your energy will actually save after you die. So you can just jump right here in the void. If you, As long as you check that checkpoint, you'll be fine. You'll just respawn right there. So see, we have 40% and we can still get these battery packs. So I would suggest doing this one or one or two times this trick because you're gonna need a lot of battery for this. So this is gonna require a lot of parkour. So you can just watch what I do. Yeah, I know, right? Imagine rigging a minigame. <laughs> purple squares all you're gonna want to do is just jump on them they're gonna appear right above you so you're just gonna want to jump on them basically and you're gonna want to save a lot of your powers for this area before you use it all up over there because you're gonna need to use your jetpack a little bit not too much but you're gonna just want to have some oh come on oh i made that okay i'm just gonna use my jetpack right here and there's the end perfect so once you get to this part which it might take you a couple tries because this part is really hard you're just gonna click this red button right here and it should stop all their really annoying screaming and basically there will be a cutscene. you can just jump down right here because you're not gonna need to go there again all right so you're gonna press this button no don't leave me please i'll come with you no don't leave me. all right so this you're basically just gonna have to do more parkour again so i can't really give any more tips but you don't you, you just don't want to touch any pink and obviously don't fall into the lava so you can follow the path i take and you're gonna have to do a four or three challenges there we go so that's how you do that first challenge so you're the next one is going to be against craycraft and tanker and it's going to be in the arrow shot challenge so basically you're just going to want to get the most amount of points and the yellow ones you're going to want to get the yellow ones and the blue ones mostly and you're going to try to shoot um both of them because they will lose a point um after you shoot them every time Except if they shoot you, you'll lose five points. So you definitely don't want to get shot. And if you lose this round, you'll go into the battle back. But I'm just going to show the next, the finale, unless I lose. So here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Definitely. All right, we won the challenge. Ooh, okay. Uh, this challenge should be pretty easy as long as you know where to go. So basically, you're just gonna have to cl click six buttons uh, before you get to the top and click the final button. You have to, you have to, so you have to click seven buttons. So basically, you can follow, you can follow my route, or you can do any route as long as you don't get one shot by anything, or uh, you don't get beat by Pinkly. All right, click this last button there, and you should be able to win this challenge. So that that might take you a really long time. That challenge is really, really hard. But if you could do it, that would be great. So after this, you're going to be able to exit this area, and you'll be able to get another checkpoint. All right, so you should spawn in this island. And, oh, shoot, my battery is so low. You're going to need to get so much battery because if this gets to zero percent oh no it's going down i can't move oh, oh get the checkpoint if this gets to zero percent you're literally dead i'm at one percent oh my gosh just fill your entire energy bar up to a hundred because you don't really want to do this again okay all right for this challenge first you're gonna have to grab three gems that are all around the map so your the first one is right here on this hill right next to this tree all right you can put that gem in right on one of these things it doesn't matter which one and the next one is going to be in the waterfall so right there it's in the waterfall so just grab that one for the last gem, you're going to go inside of this red this red grass right here and once you walk into it their gem will show up so just grab that one and put them in so once you have all three of these you're going to be able to use a robot resonator on onto these uh this crab robot and basically you're just gonna go into the ocean where and you're gonna see lots of like sparkly things so basically you're gonna click to dig anything up and you're gonna want to find a key card so it could be anywhere and it's gonna be different for everybody so like there's one of the sparkly areas so when you just keep digging all these up until you find a key card and yeah 
All right, this is the spot where I found mine. Um, I, it's going to be, like I said, it's going to be different for everybody. And look, as you can see in my crab's hand, I have a key card now. Well, my battery's getting pretty low, so I should probably get back to shore. So basically, after you find your key card, you're going to go back to the shore, and you're going to bring the key card to you. So you can just, when you just get to shore, you can just stop. And basically, you can just grab your guy, your character, and just bring him over. So I'm going to do that right now with my guy. I hate that you can't roll or anything. So, oh, shoot, he's in the wall. Okay, I'm going to get some more battery so I don't die. All right, he's literally just chilling in the wall. All right, um, can I grab this key card? There we go. Okay, so you found a key card. Well, I'm basically about to die because I'm at 10% battery. So. Well, but, so once you get this key card, you're going to come over behind the waterfall. And there's actually going to be a secret door that you can go in. So you're going to come right here. And there's going to be a secret door that you can just use the key card in. And basically, you'll be able to get out. All right, so definitely step in this checkpoint and just follow where I go. And you should be fine in the maze. Alright, after you do that base, just jump down in this vent and you should be out of there. So, oh, um, oh, okay, well, let's just pretend we never saw that. So basically, all you gotta do after you finish that maze is literally just walk up to the door and just be able to use your key card again. You don't actually have to do anything except for that. Then you're gonna be in the final battle. So this is the last part, basically. Alright, walk up to this checkpoint because you're probably gonna need it and just walk in this elevator. Wow, this is really hard. Also, it, I was when I was doing this, I kept glitching so hard, and I just like teleported to the top. When I swing my sword, maybe it'll happen again. Oh, <gasps> yeah, I think I glitched it. Yeah, army battles is working just fine. Like I don't see any like problems like right now. Like, like everything is like completely fine. All right, once you get up this elevator and after the cussing, you're gonna want to grab all these battery packs because you're gonna need to use your jetpack again. And basically, just follow me after that. And so there's gonna there's gonna be a part where you literally get a huge mech robot, and you're gonna want to use. You're gonna have to be. There's gonna be literally more parkour, so. <laughs> Alright, so come down to this side right here. It should be like like on like the side where the rope from where the robot is. And don't. Make sure you not fall in the lava because then you'll just die and go back to your checkpoint. And we'll have to watch all the cutscenes again. I'm just gonna parkour across these things.
should be in this cave. So now we're gonna have to do some parkour to get to the robot. So the robot's gonna be at the bottom of the cave after all the parkour. And there is the robot. It is actually so cool when you get into it. So basically just walk up to it and you should be able to use it. I think you might have to use, oh no, you get it. All right, basically, so you double tap for the, to fly your space bar, unless you're mobile. And basically just go low and you can fight him anyway, but I would recommend going low and fighting his knees. And whatever it says inbound miss missing, you wanna dodge those cause that will like, almost kill you instantly all right now when you get like to this health he's gonna grab you actually so yep he'll just basically grab you so this part is done there's gonna be one more final thing which you'll get a checkpoint so you won't have to do this again we hey i recognize this place we've been here before all right now so basically there's gonna be tons of bombs he's gonna hit and you just gotta use your sword and hit them back which i was just showing you what not to do of course as i like to do so just do this until you break his force field. Then you're gonna have to have a little fight, fight again with your sword with him. Oh shoot, they both came at me. That didn't even hit. Uh, and we're basically done. Just hit it. All right, he is like actually one HP. Okay, there we go, the force field was broken. So now you're gonna come onto this ship. Uh-oh, he's leaving. Huh, let me on, bro, let me on. Oh shoot, I almost died in that. Okay, we're on. We're on the ship. Okay, so basically, you're just gonna have to fight this guy. You, you don't really have to dodge his attacks. He's not that strong. But you, if you want to, you can, because my health barely... No, I got hit off! <laughs> kill him! Let's go! We got him! So after you kill him, you're actually done. Everything you have to do is done. You're basically just gonna have to watch cutscenes, and he's just gonna glide away. Bye-bye! Alright, all you gotta do from here, there's... You can talk to the guy up there, but all you gotta do... Is click end journey. So actually, the first time I ever did this, my game crashed the second I did this. It was so sad. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't crash again. Here you go. This is the final game. Or this is the final area. This is the entire thing. I guess I don't even know who these people are. I'm assuming there's the scripters. Here's all the... There's the participants, host. There's the credits, I guess. And to get your prize right here, you just gotta click it, and there you go. You will get this crown of courage, just like I have right now. And yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching this tutorial if you stayed till the end, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Alright, go now, go now, go now. Okay, now we should be here, and- Oh, shoot. Oh, I messed it up! No, please! No! Ah!